The power of a queen doesn't end when her reign is over. It goes on forever in the lives of the people she has touched, inspired, and empowered. Before we crown a new set of queens, let's take a final look at these Bini Beanies who made our country proud and made names for themselves in their respective international pageants last year. Ladies and gentlemen, here are the Bini Bini Filipinas 2018 queens in their farewell walk, beginning with Bini Bini Filipinas Globe 2018, Michelle Kumabao. Michelle Imperial Gumabo, 25 years old, Quezon City. From professional volleyball to the world of Philippine pageantry, I was probably the most unexpected Bini Bini. Braving the distance definitely wasn't easy, but standing before you all today makes it all worth it. I have nothing but gratitude and unforgettable memories. My heart goes out to Bini Bini Pilipinas Charities and Madam Stella Marquez Areneta for giving us queens this platform of endless opportunities. To all my mamas, you have been the light guiding me all throughout this journey. To all my Michelin stars, thank you, thank you, thank you for your unwavering support. Continue shining bright. To my family, you are my inspiration and source of strength. You are my greatest blessing. And to my successor, tonight marks the beginning of your reign. Know that it's not just the crown that makes a queen, but the heart that lies within. Love yourself, love our country and all its people. May you raise our flag with pride and confidence knowing that you have the support of every single Filipino. With passion, faith and hard work, anything is possible. I am Michelle Teresa Imperial Gumabao, your Binibining Pilipinas Globe 2018. To God be all the glory. Binibining Pilipinas Globe 2018, Michelle Gumabao. Crowns and titles are not a measurement of one's capability to do great things. I have served my purpose, and that purpose is to show courage, determination, beauty, and substance as a Filipina. To be an inspiration to all people from different walks of life, and to never give up in life every time you fall. To God, my family and friends, my love Francis, my mentors, KF family, and my fans, thank you for the love and support for being patient with me, and for being a great support system. To my Queen sisters and my BPCI family, especially to Madame Stella Raneta, and to everyone who has been part of my journey, from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much for everything. For without all of you, I wouldn't be where I am right now. That being said, I already won even before I lost. This is not goodbye, but hello to a new beginning. I hope I'll remain forever in your hearts as you have with mine. For the last time, Eva Psyche Pataling, Philippines! Hanggang sa dulo, mahal ko kayo, Pilipinas. Binibining Pilipinas Grand International 2018, Eva Patalinhug. Bini beating for the past intercontinental Joining Bini Beaning Filipinas is one of the best decisions I've made in my life. This incredible journey has taught me so much and has contributed in making me the woman and queen I am today. It's such an honor to represent Philippines in the Miss Intercontinental pageant. I couldn't have done it without the support of my KF family, mentors and the Philippines. To my Binibining Pilipinas family, and to Madame Stella Marquez Araneta, thank you for making my dreams and many young Filipinas' dreams come true. To my fellow queens, I am so happy to call you my sisters. To my family and friends, thank you for your love and undying support in everything I do. You are my motivation and the reason why I strive harder. I love you all so dearly. To my fans, the Gourmanians, Kayo ang nakasko. Salamat sa suporta na ibinuhos niyo para sa akin. 
hinding hindi ko kayo makalimutan. To my successor, get ready for an incredible year ahead. And lastly, to those that dream, dream big, work hard and make it happen. Anything is achievable. For the last time, I am Karen Gorman, your first Miss Intercontinental 2018 from the Philippines. Super National 2018. Jezza Wellar. Fulfilling, exciting, and rewarding. Three words to describe my three tries in Binibini, Filipinas. My experience as a Miss Super National Philippines is extraordinarily fantastic, and it takes a village to get to this point. I thank God for showering me an amazing circle of support system and experiences I will cherish forever. To my parents, the angels of my life, thank you for guiding me from above. To my family, my constant source of strength since day one of my journey as a Binibini, thank you. To Jezebel's Spectaculars, to my friends, and to all the pageant fans, your unwavering encouragement keeps me going. To my team, you are my core. From the bottom of my heart, thank you. To my queen sisters, I'm glad I found a family in you. To BPCI Comedy and Madame Stella Marquez Araneta, thank you for gifting me a wealth of knowledge and experiences I will always treasure. To my successor, a big opportunity awaits you. Brace yourself and don't forget to pray. To everyone, be greater than your fears and doubts. And if you fail, don't be afraid to try again. This is Jazza Wellar, your Binibining Filipinas Supranational 2018 from Davao City. Binibining Pilipinas International 2018, Adisa Manalo. Pilipinas International was the best first job anyone could ever get. At 20, the crowd opened up my eyes on experiencing different cultures and how the world works. I got to be part of organizations that make a difference in people's lives and I had the honor to represent my beloved country, the Philippines, in the international stage. All this I owe to the people who formed part of my journey. My family and friends, especially my mom and Michael, my mentors and trainers, aces and queens for most, who saw the potential in me, my ever-supportive atistahins, all the designers and stylists that trusted me, my dear Amir Sally and Michael Sinko especially, and of course, Binibining Pilipinas Charities Incorporated family, headed by our mom, Mrs. Stella Marquez Araneta. To all of you, thank you very much. Minasan daisuki des. For now, I am off to chase my next dream. This is Maria Atiza Manalo, Philippines. Michelle Gumabao. Eva Patalinug. I began Karen Gallman. as one Filipina with the dream to help the children of young focus have access to an education. Tonight I stand here having not just reached my dream of helping YF, but realizing a reality more amazing than I could ever have imagined of being able to serve 104 million Filipinos and to lend my voice to a multitude of causes around the world as a Miss Universe. Mula sa kaibuturan ng aking puso, nais kong pasalamatan ang lahat ng tumulong para maisakatuparan ko ang mga pangarap na ito. Above all, thank you, Jesus. I lift up everything to glorify and honor you, God. All of what I have achieved has been made possible by you. To Binibining Pilipinas Charities, headed by Madam Stella Araneta, Thank you for giving me this amazing opportunity to represent our country and for your motherly love and support. To all the members of BPCI, Executive Committee, Deliana Hines, and all of the staff, thank you for all of your tireless work and dedication. To my family, my mom and dad especially, you have been my greatest support. Thank you for all of your selflessness and for ceaselessly believing in me. To every single person of Team Catriona, you have become my family. Thank you for one of the funnest years of my life, for believing in my vision and allowing me to proudly represent Philippines to the universe. 
A special mention to Kuya Kaloy. I would not be a Miss Philippines nor a Miss Universe if not for you. To all of my supporters and Catrionians, you're at the highs and lows you've never left my side. For your love, dedication, and support, I am forever grateful. Lastly, to my young focus and love yourself family, I would not have the same heart as a human being nor the same sense of purpose had I not learned from, been inspired by, and worked with the passionate individuals of your organizations. It's truly because of you that I am the queen that I am today. Catriona Gray! Philippines, my heart is overflowing with gratitude because here on this exact stage, I was given the chance to pursue this dream. This journey has been made even more meaningful because every single step of the way, I felt each and every one of you right there with me. I am so humbled and immensely grateful to each and every one of you who has given true meaning to feeling the love and the support of the Filipino people. I knew that I had a big role to step up to once the Miss Universe Philippine sash was placed across my heart. And along the way, I had to surmount three mountains, conquer three Mayan volcanoes. The first one was conquering myself. Like every single person, I had to overcome the fear that comes from within. The fear of falling short, the fear of failure, the fear of not measuring up. But I conquered my fear with faith. Faith that God had purposely set me on this path and that he would not give me a burden too heavy to carry. And faith in myself, because I knew that I was and am not perfect, but I knew I'm determined. And I knew that out of all 95 women that I was to compete with in Miss Universe, I would be the one and only Filipina. And that gave me strength. The second was conquering others. There were so many times that people told me that I would fail. I was told that it was too soon for another Miss Universe from the Philippines. I was body shamed and I was put down. But I conquered others by surrounding myself with people who uplifted me, supported me, and mentored me. My team, Catriona, were my backbone and my safe place. And I wouldn't be standing here if not for every single one of them and for all of you. And as an only child whose family was away for the entirety of this journey, they also gave me a family. The third and most important was conquering for a purpose. What was the point of all this? Who was I doing this for? I looked down at the lettering over my heart that said Philippines, and I felt its weight, knowing the history, challenges, and triumphs of the Filipino people. I thought of the children of Tondo and of my countrymen. I may only be one person, but now I had the opportunity to serve 104 million Filipinos. And I knew that I was doing this para sa Pilipinas. 
Inside each and every one of us is a king or a queen with the ability to conquer the universe, whatever that may be for you. But we must first conquer ourselves, conquer what others perceive of us, and finally conquer with a purpose, to conquer our dreams. Philippines, I will forever raise our flag. Thank you for choosing me as your queen. Forever a Miss Philippines. Forever a Beanie Beanie. Love, Catriona Magnayan Gray, your Miss Universe 2018. Once again, the Beanie Beanie Filipinas 2018 Queen. announcement of winners happens right after this break.